Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to create Pinterest campaigns using the Socio Publisher feature of Socinator. After opening Socinator, make sure Social is selected near the upper right corner of the app. Next, let's click Socio Publisher to bring us to the publisher page over here. Then let's click the Create Campaign button. This will bring us to the Create Campaign page. Here we can name our campaign or just go with the campaign ID number. Under Post Manager, we have the option to create post. If you want to create a single post, select this option. Under Post Description, let's type something, let's say Happy. To upload pictures or videos, click the Media button. Select the right file, let's say this one. Click Open, and it's successfully uploaded. Next, let's click the Settings button. This will open the Post Settings dialog box. Under General Settings, you can click this one to select the expired date of your post. So select the date by clicking the calendar. Then you can specify the number of times when it comes to re-adding post to post list. When you're done, click the Save button. So you can enter the post title here and the source URL. So those are the options for creating a single post. You may also create multiple posts by clicking this. So if the multiple post button is clicked, Socinator will perform action of displaying a modal window on screen to set multiple posts. So click create post, write what's on your mind, let's say happy again. Import media if you want. Let's upload the same picture. Click open and settings, it's up to you. Click save when you're done. Specify the post title as well as the source URL and click enable Facebook cell post if you want. You may also import from CSV by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. You may also delete everything by clicking the delete all button over here and it's gone. So that's the multiple post button. We also have another import from CSV button here. So if you want to import from CSV, click that button, select the right file and click open. Finally, you have a create a multiple image post. If this option is selected, Socinator will perform action of enabling access to create multiple image posts with web search URLs. So you can use file name as post description, or you may upload your own post description. Click that button and select the right file, then click open. Check this box. If you want Socinator to perform action of adding only unique posts, you may also upload from URL, so using this option, Socinator will perform action of loading images from web URLs. So we need a specific URL, let's say this one, copy the URL, paste it, and then click the magnifying glass button over here, or the search button, and it will automatically load images from the URL that we have posted. So this is the first image, click the next one, and it will load the second image. So you may save to draft post list or save to pending post list. And that's it for create post. Let's go to scrape post. We have three options here from three different social networks. Let's select the second one, scrape posts from Pinterest. Here we can add post source like Pinterest boards, Pinterest users, or search pins. Simply copy and paste the URL here. So one source per line. This is the format. For boards, open bracket, capital B, close bracket, then the board URL. Press enter because only one source URL per line. The next one is for users. So open bracket, capital U, close bracket, then user URL. Press enter again. And the last one is for search URL open bracket, capital S, then close bracket, and then the search URL. So let's start with the first one. Let's say you want to target this board. Copy the board URL here, then paste it here. The second one, we need a Pinterest user. Let's say you want to target this Pinterest user. Copy the user URL here, then paste it here. Finally, for search URL, we need to search something on Pinterest. Let's say cats, for example. So copy the search URL here, 
then paste it here. You have the option to use original post details or use your own post details. Click this box to upload post details, select the right file, then click open. Next, you can specify the number of recent posts to scrape on every operation. Then finally, you can check for new post depending on the number of minutes you specify over here. The next tab is share post. Here we can share posts from custom posts list if we check this box. Type the custom post list here. Next we have RSS feed. So in this section, Socinator will allow to create posts with RSS feed and post the same to assign destinations. So feed URL details will allow to enter the feed URLs for extracting the feed details and post the same to the assigned destinations. Post description will allow to automatically generate the feed descriptions from the given feed URL. So we have feed title, feed description, feed URL, feed publish date. Under media, click the button to select an image or a video and click open and it will be uploaded. Click the settings button to configure individual post settings according to different networks. Then you may type your post title and source URL here and check this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. So let's just enter an example URL. Let's say this is the URL. When you're done, click the save feed URL button and Socinator will save all existing posts to feed URL details over here. So you may edit the feed URL details by clicking this button. You may also delete the feed URL details by clicking this button and it's gone. The monitor folder will allow you to specify the folder path. Click the folder button over here and let's select desktop for example as our folder path and it will be automatically added here. You may also clear using the clear all button and it's gone. So let's create the same folder path again. So post description similar to RSS feed. So you may enter the file name, the file type, the file author, file title, file subject, file creation date, file comments, file tags. Under media, you have the option to configure individual post settings from different networks. Click save when you're done. Here you can write the post title. Let's say happy. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button and select the right file and click open. So let's say happy again. So you may randomly pick title from the list or remove title once used. Enter the source URL and click this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. When you're done, click save folder path and it will be saved in the folder path details over here. Click this button if you want to edit the folder path details. Click this button if you want to delete the folder path details and it's gone. Next, let's click post configuration. So in this section, you will need to set up how and when the tool is going to execute the socio publisher actions. So the first configuration is job configuration. So under settings, you can specify the number of posts per day as well as the start time and end time. So each post will be published to all selected destinations including groups, pages, or walls. So you can specify the delay between posts. So let's say 5 to 30 minutes. You may also configure posting interval for each timer. Or you may also use random publishing time every day. Click this box if you want Socinator to publish all the selected destinations. You can add delay between publishing multiple posts. So between two numbers in terms of minutes, you may also specify the minimum and maximum number of posts. Click this box if you want to specify the start date of the campaign. So select the start date by clicking the calendar. Let's say February 5, for example. And there's the time as well. You may also specify the end date. So let's say 7. So here you can specify the delay between each destination post, let's say 10 to 30 seconds. You may also select the days of the week to publish. So if you want to publish every day, then check all of them. Or if you don't want to publish on Tuesday, then uncheck Tuesday. If this option is checked, Socinator will publish the post from the first selected day. 
Next, we have other configurations. So under the settings, you can enable signature to add a custom text at the end of your posts. For Reddit users, you may check for the approval of your post. You may also shorten all the URLs from the post. You can also allow publishing of text posts with links for Pinterest users. And for Instagram users, you can post as part of your story only instead of on the wall. Let's click Advanced Settings. This will open the Campaign Advanced Settings dialog box. Let's click Pinterest. Check the first one to enable Campaign Source URL to assign URLs to Pinterest boards. Similar to earlier, one source URL per line. So let's paste the same board URL. You can paste several source URLs and a random one is chosen every time. You can also specify the number of source URL percentage over here. Check this box to overwrite post source URL. Next, you can delete pins depending on the number of likes or repins. So if it has below 5 likes or 5 repins, then it will be deleted. You can also specify the number of days as to when to check after repins. Check this box to enable automatic hashtags. You can specify the maximum number of hashtags per post. You also have the option to hash by keyword. Simply type several keywords here, each separated by a comma, and they will all be automatically hashed. You can also hash by minimum word length or replace probability. Finally, check the last one to enable dynamic hashtags. This allows you to add hashtags even if the post already has hashtags. And this will depend on your preferred configurations over here. So specify the max hashtags per post, then pick a percentage of the extra hashtags from the list that you will type over here. The same applies over here. When you're satisfied with these advanced settings, click the Save button. Now, we can select destinations by clicking this button. Select from the destinations we have created. Let's say the third one, then close it. Next, let's click Select Accounts and check our Pinterest account over here. For Pinterest, we can select pages or boards by clicking over here. Select the page or board you want, then click Save. Then, when you're ready, click the Save button over here. Finally, let's click Save over here. Success! The Pinterest campaign has been successfully created and saved. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.